jacked. And this was during my like cunty blonde install once a week era. And I literally was at Sean Kingston's. Started at the park, used to chill after dark. Ooh, when you took my heart. We were genuinely just like friends. And this was like. Number one, she was at Sean Kingston. Right before Chris Brown put a gun on me, which we talked about in the recent episode. Chris Brown put a gun on her. <laughs> like, nigga, I ain't playing that shit. <laughs> yeah, man. <laughs> sir, sir. At whatever. And I was at Sean's in a bikini, full duct tape. My tits were done. My nose was done like the first out of the seven times. And like, I was literally just sitting there and like the chef was there cooking Jamaican food. Turn it into a gourmet traditional Jamaican. All of a sudden there was like commotion. We were smoking back when they brought us a brand new 40, like 42 bottle. Stick, stick, like, we looked hot. 42 girl. Of course. Shot of me, shot of you. All of a sudden like messaged my friend and was like famous Dex. Famous Dex. Oh my gosh, dude needs to chill off the drugs. Yeah, he like tried to like jump me and like pull a knife on me literally for sitting by the pool. And Joke. Okay. Knew that was gonna Did you happen. It though? Yes. Ah! A lot of them are making it seem like they're born females when they really aren't. That's stupid wow. as fuck. If me looking so good makes you question whether or not you still want to fuck your girlfriend that you're cheating on anyways, that's a you problem, babe. I went on a date with Kevin Gates. And that was everything. Honestly, it was a really good experience. What I do is I'll go and like drink. And I'll, I'll see who he's following and just DM every single hot guy I see with the blue check mark. And hoping that just pays my bills one day. Because shit, <laughs> this pussy and my pet house are not going to pay itself. You heard it. That dilator that she wants on a daily basis is going to close up if they don't pay for it. Now, how many females, quote unquote, say they're a girl and they look like that? And they're DMing niggas, talking to niggas and all of that. <laughs> Yikes. Um, and so I DM'd him. He was like, yo, like, I think he was like in Atlanta. I was like, I'm not like, so he came and he was like, let's go to dinner. And I was like, okay, just like text me where, like kept it really cool. Went to Mastro's and I was like, am I gonna get like shot or like gutted like a fish? Like I was like scared. Cause you know, I don't know. He's all about like energy, like Ashwagandha, yeah. like the whole nine. I cannot get past the whole like I don't know like oh my god like then they be like wait over here like uh, I can't it feels like she's me. trying too hard to be a female yeah. that's a no go for me remind me of the movie White Chicks <laughs> <laughs> I don't know he's all about like energy like Ashwagandha yeah. like the whole nine honestly we fucked and I told him I was trans like mid like spread eagle like pussy flap scars and all like I literally how did you like wow you see exactly what I was just wow. telling you Wow, your favorite rapper is this. <laughs> After this, we'll show you my phone. You can see all your friends and rappers DMing me. They're in <laughs> nudes. Why I've been in that situation that a few times where it's just like, oh God, like, she felt oh no. Like, you brought rappers up pretty quickly and I've heard a lot of stories. I think it's because the hip hop culture is so gangster and all about women and, <laughs> and money and all this that it's like taboo to like be with someone that's trans or gay. It's just like so shocking still to this day. And it's such a new story, right? She's like, she's like, ready to go. She's like, I'm trans. So <laughs> she's like coming. <laughs> it's so sad that, um, you know, we have to say, oh, this rapper was exposed for dating, you know, for for messing with a trans woman. Like, I'm like, I'm <laughs> <squ> <laughs> <laughs> like, what? He's like, I'm, I'm like, I'm squirting. He's like, no, you're not. <laughs> wow. No, bitch, how the fuck are you going to squirt? You don't have the instruments that a female has to be able to squirt. <laughs> no. Oh, my God. You guys kill me. <laughs> Um, but no, I was literally, I'm not kidding, like spread eagle. I think he was like eating me out or something. And then in my brain, he like stopped and I'm like, like it's, it's 2022. Oh, oh like so because a man's body is not meant to have a female setup, its body closes up on them. So if they're not constantly manually doing something down there, it closes up. Um, but he was like, can I ask you something? And I go, yeah. And he was like, well, are you trans? And I go, and I was laying there and I go. You caught me. <laughs> and he literally was like, baby, I don't give a fuck. God raised all of us equal, yeah, all this stuff. That. And I was yeah. like, that Respect makes you so much gates. more attractive. And that makes you so much more, like, honestly, manly and hot okay. that you, like, like, wow. Like, that's some bullshit. He likes rice through the straw. And they're like, what makes you that idea? And I <laughs> <laughs> uh, that makes you so much gates. more attractive. And that makes you so much more, like, honestly, manly and hot okay. that you, like, that you knew, know that I had to work harder and pay more than all these other fucking crusty dusty bitches with like stinky pussies. See, this, this is the one thing that I don't agree with that they do tend to hate on females. It's like, dude, if you are a female, why the hell are you talking shit about naturally born 
females. Just shut the fuck up and move on. Yo, listen, I'm supportive of transgender people. I seriously am. Yeah. But come on. Go. Really? <laughs> this is clearly a man. <laughs> you wanted to be us, but it's not our fault that you're not going to be able to reproduce. You're not going to be able to get wet and schools <laughs> off. Not a quarter, not a half. That is a full guy. <laughs> Have you seen his hand calluses? You gotta be joking, y'all. He can grip a fucking bowling ball with an open palm. <laughs>